Hey guys, welcome back for another video. So today's video is gonna be super short. I received a comment on one of my previous videos I posted about someone asking how to properly adjust their clutch lever. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And if you guys don't know, um, I actually kind of tipped this quad over like a year or two ago and bent my clutch lever. So what I did was I ordered a brand new clutch lever and I'm gonna be installing it and showing you guys how to adjust it today. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is obviously replace my old clutch lever with the new one, but I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through that process so you guys don't have to sit here and watch it. All right guys, I just finished installing the new clutch lever. It's way out of adjustment as you can see. I had to screw this in all the way to gain enough slack in order to install the new lever. So now let's go ahead and adjust our clutch lever. And something that I found that works really nicely is you take a nickel and you place it between your clutch lever and your clutch assembly here, just like that. And then you go ahead and tighten your cable up. And you wanna tighten your cable until it feels snug. Mine's starting to feel snug right about there. And then you take your nickel out and the amount of gap between your clutch lever and your clutch assembly should just be about a nickel's worth. And then of course go ahead and tighten up that last nut just like that. After that nut is tight, you are ready to go. Um, I do wanna mention the reason that you want this gap here, you need a gap here between your lever and your assembly. That's because if this cable, if you tightened your clutch all the way so that this lever was you know, in tension, this cable would be in tension and that's gonna cause your clutch to possibly slip. So that's all I got for today's video guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next Saturday for another quad vlog.